So here's my example. Um, currently what it does is toggle between colors when I click my mouse. So that's using the mouse pressed function. Um, but what it doesn't do is continue to detect while I hold the mouse down. So there's actually a slightly different thing I can do. And that's, um, I can use a variable version of this guy. And every time the draw function runs, it will check whether my mouse is still being held down. So here's what it looks like. I can say if the mouse is pressed, then do whatever. Otherwise, do this other thing. So if I sort of relocate this code, um, let's say if the mouse is being held down, I'm going to make it be this color variation. And if the mouse is not being held down, I'm going to make it be this color variation. Let me fix my indentation. And let me go get rid of this um, leftovers. All right, so now I don't have the mouse pressed function anymore, but I am using this um, this variable version mouse, mouse pressed um, to set my colors. So let's see what that looks like. So here is my starting, and if I click, it flashes for a second. Now if I hold down the mouse, which you'll have to trust me that I'm doing this, I'm holding down my mouse, it keeps the color set because it keeps checking that variable. Is the mouse pressed? If it is, it's going to make it look like this color. If it's not pressed when draw runs, then it's showing this other color variation. So I can keep something happening if the mouse is pressed down by using the variable version. Um, that'd be good if I wanted to draw while I had the mouse held down or something like that.